is like a dream, so strange, so terrible. He whom I thought so gentle and so true is stained with fearful crimes. Poor murdered lady, have I escaped a fate like thine? Ah, I hear his step. Now heart be firm, and he shall enter here no more. Enter Rodolfo. Sweet lady, I am here to learn my fate. I have told my love, and thou hast listened. I have asked thy hand, and thou hast not refused it. I have offered all that I possess, my home, my heart. Again I lay them at thy feet, beloved Leonore. Oh, wilt thou but accept them, poor though they be, and in return let me but claim this fair hand as mine own. Takes her hand and kneels before her. Leonore withdraws her hand. My lord, forgive me, but I cannot grant it. When last we met thou didst bid me ask my heart if it could love thee. It hath answered nay. I grieve I cannot make a fit return for all you offer, but I have no love to give, and without it this poor hand were worthless. There are others far more fit to grace thy home than I. Go, win thyself a loving bride, and so forget Leonore. What hath changed thee thus since last we met? Then wert thou kind and listened gladly to my love. Now there is a scornful smile upon thy lips and a proud light in thine eye. What means this? Why dost thou look so coldly on me, Leonore? Who has whispered false tales in thine ear? Believe them not. I am as true as heaven to thee. Then do not cast away the heart so truly thine. Smile on me, dearest. Thou art my first, last, only love. Tis false, my lord. Hast thou so soon forgot Teresa? What? Who told thee that accursed tale? What dost thou mean, Leonore? I mean thy sinful deeds are known. Thou hast asked me why I will not wed thee, and I answer, I will not give my hand unto a murderer. Murderer? No more of this. Thy tale is false. Forget it and I will forgive the idle words. Now listen, I came hither to receive thy answer to my suit. Think ere thou decide. Thou art an orphan, unprotected and alone. I am powerful and great. Wilt thou take my love, and with it honor, wealth, happiness, and ease? Or my hate, which will surely follow thee and bring down desolation on thee and all thou lovest? Now choose. My hatred or my love? My lord, I scorn thy love, and I defy thy hate. Work thy will, I fear thee not. I am not so unprotected as thou thinkest. There are unseen friends around me who will save in every peril, and who are sworn to take revenge on thee for thy great sins. This is my answer. Henceforth we are strangers. Now leave me, I would be alone. Not yet, proud lady. If thou wilt not love, I'll make thee learn to fear the heart thou hast so scornfully cast away. Let thy friends guard thee well. Thou wilt need their care when I begin my work of vengeance. Thou mayst smile, but thou shalt rue the day when Count Rodolfo asked and was refused. But I will yet win thee, and then beware. And when thou dost pray for mercy on thy knees... Remember the haughty words thou hast this day spoken. Do thy worst, murderer. Spirits will watch above me, and thou canst not harm. Adieu, my lord. Exit, Leonor. Foiled again. Some demon works against me. Who could have told her of Teresa? A little longer, and I should have won a rich young bride. And now this tale of murder mars it all. But I will win her yet, and wring her proud heart till she shall bend her haughty head and sue for mercy.